Best Man Down is a 2012 film written and directed by Ted Coland. And the first thing I want to say is that this is not a comedy. And I say this because it is tagged as a comedy on at least IMDb. I don't know if it's mentioned as a comedy elsewhere. It starts off a little funny because of the character of Lumpy and his great spirit. But then things get pretty depressing. And honestly, it's not a great film. If you like character-driven films, I think the second half might be okay, but it is very, very slow and really not that much happens. I watched this because I love Shelley Long and she is in it a, a reasonable amount. We also have Justin Long as Scott, Jess Wexler as Kristen, we have Addison Temley as Ramsey and Tyler Labine as Lumpy. Unfortunately, Lumpy dies at the beginning of the film. He's at the wedding of Scott and Kristen and he dies and the film is all about getting his body back for the funeral and that's basically it, to be perfectly honest. There's not much more than that. Kristen and Scott are also trying to track down Ramsey, who he believes was Lumpy's girlfriend. And Ramsey is certainly an interesting character. I think once Ramsey came into it, I won't tell you about Ramsey or explain Ramsey in any detail. I don't want to kind of spoil the character. But once she came into it, I thought... Yeah, she's she's livened things up a little bit. She made things a bit more interesting. Put it this way, she's the only character I liked. I liked Lumpy, but considering he died within the first, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, that didn't really help very much. But Ramsey was the only character I actually liked. The other characters were, I'd say, boring. I don't think I disliked any character, but I didn't care for any of them. I found them to, to be just very bland. And that's nothing against the performances. I just feel the characters were not that interestingly written. Now, the narrative itself is significantly lacking. But what I will say is there, one, there is one scene that basically made it worthwhile. And I will, with a spoiler warning, tell you what that scene is. But for the majority of the film, there is no real action. It is character-driven. And most of the characters are boring. So it doesn't, in my opinion, have a lot to offer. It's it's not a great experience. But there is, as I said, one scene that I found worked really well. And Ramsey as a character was quite interesting. And as a Shelley Long fan, of course, I liked, I liked the scenes she was in because I liked watching her. But it's not as if I thought those scenes were brilliant or anything like that. So I didn't really care for it. I didn't think it was a good film. It is slow. And it's not one of those films where it's really slow, but then the ending is amazing. It just didn't really go anywhere, except for, as I said, this one scene. And I will mention this with a spoiler warning from now. So huge spoilers for something that happens towards the end of the film. This is really the only thing that I can praise. Well, I can praise the beginning. The beginning was very, very good. But after that, nothing happened and it was very slow for a very long time and the characters were boring. So I didn't care for it. But at the end, as I said, big spoilers, at Lumpy's funeral, and what is really interesting about this is throughout the, the journey, we learn things about Lumpy that doesn't paint him in the best light. And I won't spoil it by saying what comes up, but there are things that people are saying about him that doesn't really make him look like a good character. But at the funeral... Ramsey gives this speech about Lumpy and what he brought to her life and basically shed light on why Lumpy did these apparently negative things that we learn about him. And it's, it, it, it kind of suggests that nothing is as it seems and that somebody might seem like they're doing bad things, but there might be more to the story than what's on the surface. And that, that scene, that moment, basically... The few minutes where Ramsey is talking about Lumpy, they're really the only good minutes in the film, as far as I see. And it's not so much it's a boring film, but that bit makes it worth it. I don't think it does. It's still very slow and not that interesting. But credit where it's due, I thought the funeral was very well done. Everything else, not so much. As a Shelley Long fan, yes, I loved Shelley Long in this, but not enough for me to say that I would recommend it. Best Man Down just isn't a good film because there's no real narrative and the characters are not very likable. They're not unlikable, but they're kind of boring. Ramsey is not too bad. That one scene was pretty good. But other than that, there's not really anything here that would mean I'd recommend the film.